up, 180 Fit. Let's talk about how to stay motivated in your weight loss routine. Truth be told, losing weight is easier said than done. You like to say, thanks, Jen. I knew that. No matter how vigorous and ambitious one starts off, it always gets harder before it gets easier. And having a personal trainer to keep you on your toes, so to speak, is helpful for the most for most people for the most part. But without a strong inner drive, you might find yourself to dodging me, your personal trainer. It is possible though to develop a sustainable weight loss routine. The secret is that your drive must come from within for you to be able to power through the times when your body is tempted to throw in that towel. So here are my five top ways and most powerful techniques for staying motivated in your weight loss routine. Where am I met real quick? My name is Jen Plaking, your holistic empowerment coaching from place stuck to authentic thriving, through personal training, group fitness, nutrition coaching, and life and transformation coaching. Should you like, subscribe, and follow wherever you are so you get alerted anytime I bring you relevant information. So one, be clear about your reason for wanting to lose weight. Never lose sight of your why. Why are you engaging in your weight loss routine? Write down your reasons and review them before um, exercising or in the mornings, you know, daily. Keeping what you want for yourself in front and center is a great way to maintain your routine and stay focused on your best interest. This will make you, you know, improve and it will help you quiet the self-critical -critic aspect of, you know, anytime that you don't do it because you're putting what you want in front of your perfectly toned body is an ongoing process that will test your patience, honestly. But as long as you have your eye on the prize, so to speak, each new day is a new opportunity to better yourself. Two, develop a routine that fits into your, your lifestyle, which you do now, which you may do for the next 10 years, I say. It's all about sustainability. Do not start out so strong that you burn out in a few days or sacrifice other obligations in your life. Get a plan that includes, um, you know, a diet and exercise routines and also has built in recovery periods and as well as your cultural aspects. You need these in order to stay healthy and vibrant and in the long run and really make it lasting. Also know that your diet should be balanced and taken at intervals that don't dent your budget or dent your lifestyle. Your exercise routine should be realistic and engage the whole body without overdoing it. Remember, key here, that your routine should complement your lifestyle, not complicate it. Complement, not complicate. Number three. Weight loss journal, you hear me talk about this often. Record your progress along the way and make sure to celebrate any success. Small steps add up to the long journey. Those micro habits that make the difference. Use your journal to record your progress, challenges, and success stories. Every time you review your journal, um, you, you would be encouraged by you know, with the power to go on, tracking your activities such as foods consumed and specific exercises done gives you a clear knowledge of what's working and what isn't. Number four, use positive self-talk to keep a positive mindset. Many people make um, efforts to better themselves, but they're but they forget about their mental side. Uh, you know, if your mental is sour in a way, this hampers the longevity. Instead, create a positive mindset by saying, saying good things to yourself about your weight and the goal you intend to achieve. Acknowledge the small improvements. It goes back to, again, the small improvements you see, acknowledge those. Today, you are better than you were yesterday. And you will be even better you know, in better shape tomorrow. Make that thought resound in your mind that you have to do that. Number five, plan ahead for setbacks. 
It is impossible to engage in a weight loss routine without facing at least a couple of setbacks along the way. You may have changed your diet to wholesome meals, but you can't expect the people at work or at home to not forgo their um, processed snacks and junk food, let's face it, because of your personal ambitions. Make sure that they know about your weight loss efforts. These things can help you um, turn your environment into a support system that encourages you when you wish to give up. Work on finding new coping mechanisms for the times when you encounter challenging circumstances. Don't go, you know, stress eating, we have to replace those. If you have patterns of the stress eating, find alternative coping mechanisms that aren't, do, don't include food, like taking a cold shower, calling a loved one, or going for a walk. Um, do not feel ashamed to ask for help or seek encouragement from others. There's no shame in this. Developing the motivation necessary to lose weight may seem um, difficult at first, but with practice, you will feel motivated um, and it'll come very naturally to you. And um, of course, that's part of what I do is I help you be motivated. I help you see the end goal. I help you with those kind of things. So if anyway, you're stuck or you want how to make this real in your life, um, reach out to me for your free 60 minute um, empowerment and transformation coaching call where we will come up with a 90 day plan that's realistic, doable, sustainable, and lasting, regardless if you sign up with more coaching with me or not. I'm here to serve you and help. You can message me on any of the platforms where you may be watching or listening to this um, and um, just message me directly. I respond to those all personally, as well as um, there's in the notes, there's always an email address where you can email me as well and some other, some other things. So remember, you're worth this. Okay, these are these really truly, if you will do all five of these, they're gonna help you substantially. These are things that I use with clients all the time. And um, put them into practice. Maybe do one a week for the next five weeks, and that way it's not too much at all the time. Remember, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves. Take one a week and put it into our lives, okay? Doable, sustainable, realistic, lasting. Fits into your life now and in the next 10 years. All right, as always, be brave. Be kind, live authentically, and always shine. Like, subscribe, follow. Share this with someone you think might need it. And remember, you're only one habit away. Maybe one of these are the habit that's going to be your key to lasting change. Uh, thanks for listening and watching. Until next time.